Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Manager for Customer Engagement and Commerce Integration in SAP Business by Design. And I today will show you how to integrate SAP Hybris Revenue CPQ solution for enabling subscription-based business models with SAP Business by Design and CPI middleware. So, a long title, and uh, basically, I want to explain you first uh, why are subscription business models key also for mid-market companies. Basically, it's digital products are on the rise. We all know that software is eating hardware. Service is getting more and more important than material sales, and ownership of hardware is getting less important, especially we here in Germany could not imagine for a long time that young people would not uh, desire to buy a car and to own a car on their own. But actually, in all uh, big cities in Germany, the trend is somehow different. Less people want to buy a car, they simply want to use a car. And that's why subscription models are getting more and more important. You are all aware of the digital products, media, streaming and games. And also software as a service is, of course, a mega trend. And this is basically happening in all industries and all countries. But the challenge is basically, and we know that from our daily business, that the pricing and charging and also the usage uh, consumption models are very complex in such subscription-based business. And this is why um, specialized solutions um, are there and uh, they can be very well connected together with business by design and this is what I'm going to show to you in that short demo now. So I'm currently logged on in Hybris Revenue Cloud and um, I'm uh, selling basically a print um, as a service solution so printing personalized uh, letters and sending it out to customers. That is my business. And one of my customers just recently approached me and said, hey, I want to uh, use your service. Please um, offer me what you can do. And this is what I now configure for that customer, Künstler Marketing. Um, I want to uh, offer him a service which allows him to print personalized letters and send those letters directly to, the, to his customers, to his clients. And those um, personalized letters shall then be um, paid uh, in a monthly base. And um, at a start, I want to set up, of course, uh, the service, and that also takes a fee. And this is basically what I now enter here in the system. So in the subscription, I maintain it starting on 9th of April. So today, um, I have basically set up um, a pricing model already. So this is a one-time charge, which says, OK, 99 US dollars for the initial setup, only one time. Then we have a recurring charge, and that is basically 599 US dollars per month. And included in those 599 uh, US dollars, we have a, a quantity of 7,000 pages. And after the 7,000th page, um, we will bill basically for every um, uh, 75 uh, units uh, a price um, of 75 US dollars, and uh, it will be a block size of 500 items of 500 additional pages. So you see, this is already a simple subscription model, and you can make it way more complex in Hybris Revenue Cloud. So um, I want to simply now create that order uh, and that quote for the customer. That basically means I have to release it. And um, after it's released, I can send it to the customer. And as soon as it's sent to the customer, this customer can then tell me, yes, I want to buy that subscription. I want to buy that service. And then I have to pay it and uh, the customer has to pay it, uh, let's say by invoice. And I will now transfer that invoice to Business by Design. But um, uh, you can, of course, uh, use this kind of integration in a point-to-point -point mode. So let's say the web services which are available in Hybris Revenue Cloud and the web services which are available in Business by Design, you simply stitch them together and uh, ensure that everything is working and also monitor the integration between those two systems. But you can also make it a bit easier. You use a middleware like SAP Cloud Platform Integration. And SAP delivers a couple of standard contents for various products already with CPI, SAP Cloud Platform Integration. And what I will do now is basically I um, have built um, an integration flow, so called iFlows for Hybris Revenue Cloud and SAP Business by Design, consuming the existing web services you can use with um, 1802 or 1805 release of Business by Design and the latest release of 
Hybris Revenue Cloud. And um, I simply start now the replication. Of course, that replication would be running automatically, so you would not have to start it um, uh, manually like I do it here. So such an uh, integration uh, flow and uh, integration flow is a, a basically a complicated and powerful thing. You could say, okay, it's just two simple web services you need to stitch together. But of course, you need to ensure also the authorization and the mapping between the fields. So you see, um, this is just a flow for the billing integration that we have set up. So this, you see there are a couple of um, important uh, things that need to be mentioned here. And if I, let's say, click here on the mapping between Hybris Revenue and business by design, just uh, let me show that. Then you see um, what data we have on the left side and what data we have on the right side. So this is, for instance, the mapping between the document number, the ID in the Hybris Revenue side, and here we have uh, the equivalent in business by design. So you see there are lots of things that you need to be taking care for and the middleware, it can also be, of course, any kind of other middleware, not only from SAP, takes control basically on uh, what is happening and makes life for you way easier. So yes, this is my last view here about the monitoring. You see how many um, messages have been transmitted uh, in the last hour. So let me now switch into business by design. And um, if I now refresh here, then you will be seeing there are two new invoices that have been created. It's one invoice, which is basically for the base fee. So this is the base fee of 599 uh, US dollars plus the initial setup fee of 99 euros. So that's the total price. You see also the tax calculation here. And what I can do now is to combine this with the usage uh, invoice that um, is also created. So the usage is basically uh, used as soon we have uh, a volume which is higher than 7,000 pages. So currently it's zero because I didn't have any usage so far, but that will of course increase throughout the months. And then um, uh, collect all the data. And the big value is basically that Hybris Revenue then aggregates all the um, individual billing items and then only sends uh, uh, an accumulated uh, invoice request to business by design. So that means basically the high volume of the data stays in Hybris Revenue and only the invoice requests and the invoices are being then executed in business by design. So I combine basically those two invoice requests to have it in one invoice. You see here uh, again the two amounts and then I simply release it and with that uh, the business story is almost over. Um, of course um, money needs to be paid but this is uh, all well known to you. So uh, so much uh, basically for my short little demo. What I've shown is basically an example of how you can use CPI in that demo and how you connect um, the Hybris Revenue with Business by Design using the existing web services. So you as a customer or as a partner can build such a kind of integration already right now. Um, and um, um, of course, it's not necessarily needed to use SAP CPI middleware, but of course it runs best if you use SAP CPI middleware to, to connect the both systems. So the summary is basically, you can define lots of powerful subscription-based business models with um, Hybris Revenue Cloud and combine it with, with um, SAP Business by Design. And um, this was basically all I wanted to show. I hope you like what you have seen and stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.